your income, shoe size, medical record, your grades, your children's grades. Should I go on? <laughs> uh, uh, well, no. Thanks, I'm fine. With information now flowing from every search, click, and purchase we make online, as well as data pouring out of our smartphones, computerized automobiles, and Wi-Fi enabled appliances, artificial intelligence has more than enough data to get to know everything about us, and it is scary. All of our interactions with the internet and smart devices leave digital trails behind us. Every time a customer purchases groceries at the supermarket and scans their rewards card for their discount, they give the store a pile of useful information, such as what items you bought, fruits and vegetables or sugar soda, chips, and ice cream. Moreover, the store knows how often and at what time of day you made your purchases and whether you used cash, credit, or debit. The information collected builds a profile of you that serves to customize the coupons offered to you, but it also gets used to predict what you will purchase and what type of life you live. Such information and analysis may seem at first beneficial, but it can reveal private things about you to total strangers that you may not want to be known. Also, as artificial intelligence is growing more and more, thus in future, you need to be ready with more humanoid robots like Sophia. These humanoid robots are designed to give you pleasure, connect with you emotionally, provide you companionship, which will ultimately help humans. But here is the main question we need to ask, as our personal data is used to train AI algorithms, who is really controlling AI behind the curtains? Maybe there are some organizations, or some people who understand how to control human behavior. Thus we need to be really cautious about who is actually designing AI for you. Digital trails left by our online activity, purchases, and more contribute information about each of us, that can form the basis of a detailed profile of our lives. Artificial intelligence helps make sense of all that information, but we should be careful to follow how that information gets used. Facebook may use its perception of a relationship status to guide certain advertisers to a person's Facebook page. However, all that information about what you purchase, where you travel, and what you eat has caught the interest of health insurance companies. In a July 18, 2018, article published by NPR.Oga, titled Health Insurers Are Vacuuming Up Details About You, and It Could Raise Your Rates, Marshall Allen writes, companies are collecting what you post on social media, whether you're behind on your bills, what you order online. Then they feed this information into complicated computer algorithms that spit out predictions about how much your health care could cost them. The information you leave online, coupled with eating habits, and the size clothing you purchase, may indicate certain health conditions without having to describe your state of health explicitly, and algorithms can use such information to guide individual insurance pricing. The proliferation of computers, smartphones, and many other computer-based devices make the capture and sharing of many bits of information about how people live, and this information with the help of artificial intelligence provides companies and institutions unprecedented views into our private lives. So guys, what do you think about AI, and the people who are creating AI products for you? Share your thoughts down in comment section, and don't forget to subscribe the channel, and press the bell icon to get instant video notification. So guys that's it for now, see you in next video.